how do you feel like the team's doing so the defense is doing so far in the like, six days of camp? Um, I think after day six, it's been good, you know, measured improvement uh, through all the positions, DBs, linebackers, uh, D linemen. I think getting us all together has been a big thing, uh, getting some team reps, some seven on reps too, so we can all mesh, see how each other's communicating, where we're rolling to. Uh, and it's been fun, you know, flying around these last, I think, four days straight almost. We've had perfect weather, sun out, not too hot, so defense loving it. Are you going to participate tomorrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, uh, I'm on full go, so whatever coach, whenever you, yep, coach yells 32, we run out there, so. Are you looking forward to that? Always, always. I think uh, scrimmage days, you know, a little bit more full pad days, I think, are the closest thing we get to game reps, so I think those are huge for us. Coach said for some of the older guys, he's told us last year, they get to take and pick out some of the reps that they want to take so that right. they can work on. Which ones have you been picking out to, to work on? Right. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily get to pick any of the coverages that I want to work on. Um, you know, I think with some of my reps in the past during the season, um, coaches kind of know what I feel a little bit more comfortable in, um, what coverages I may need to get some extra reps in. So I think, uh, you know, I, I let the coaches make those calls. And uh, for the most part, I just try to focus on that one play and trying to get better at that. Talk about what Miles Williams and Craig Wilson I mean, first off, the laughter and joy. You know, they're big personalities for sure. Um, I mean, they're two unique guys. They bring a lot of, uh, you know, play experience. Um, they're, they're vets now, which is hard to say sometimes. You know, me being a vet vet, I guess you call it. Um, but, you know, they're both unique individuals. Craig's downhill, fast dude. Miles is highly intelligent. Um, you know, playing with them side by side, even Ray Woody, communicating with them, um, playing on a string with them, kind of having one brain in between the both of us um, has been huge. So um, getting a little extra help in the film room too has been big for all of us. Just three weeks away from your, your uh, opener, do you guys kind of count down the days when it starts to get closer? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, as each day comes, you know, you don't really think about it, but you know how many days you got left. Um, so I think we're definitely excited. Definitely biting my nails. Your thoughts on the, the new waters, newly revamped wide receiver core that you guys are running up against them yeah. in practice? Yeah, I mean, young guys, uh, but they're flying around. You know, you see, you guys see them yourselves. They're making plays all around the field. And you may be a new guy every day, so it's been big to see all of them, uh, you know, grow, develop, learn. Um, so I'm excited to see what they do on Saturdays. You know, I obviously like to limit them as much as I can when they go against my DBs, but uh, yeah, I, I really like how they're looking right now. Are they a tough cover? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's just it's some good guys out there that's just hard to cover. Um, but I mean, everyone's improving. You know, not only DBs but wide receivers are making their adjustments. They're making their do new reads and whatnot. So definitely. And, uh, and Jermaine and Kalecki look a lot different this year. Jermaine being tremor and right. being bigger. Right. How does that change their, their game? Right. I think they definitely made some good strides in the offseason. Um, you know, I try to go to, against Jermaine all the time. He's a good rep, a uh, good person to go against. Strong dude, even though he's leaned out a little bit. Um, speed's definitely there. And same with Lecky. You know, Lecky's tall, lengthy, but he's got a little bit more weight to him now. So if you come to him, you got to come a little faster, a little harder. Gail, you know, if you Hi. answered this already, sorry if you have. Yeah. You're the one guy here who's been here for every year that Justin's been here. Yes, sir. How have you changed in the five plus years? How has Justin changed, if at all? Right, right. Um, I think for me, the biggest thing for me is just maturity, you know, and growth. I think in life, not everyone is going to have the same track. Not everyone's going to have the same road to development. Um, but for me, it's just maturity, especially from year one, I was here freshman year, even to the sophomore year. Um, but each year, just trying to grow as an individual, not only on the field, but mentally, spiritually, and whatnot. Um, you know, I think for Wilcox, I mean, it's, it, it was a new place for him too. So just getting comfortable, um, getting confident, and controlling this and leading this group. So, um, you know, I think it's it's funny, you know, going to the uh, meetings a little bit more. You kind of have some small talks with him, and you know, you build that friendship over time. Um, so it's been huge. If I were to say that you guys have built a solid program, but not yet an elite program, is that fair? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, I definitely think it's fair. I think regardless if we thought we were elite or not, we always look for improvement. We always look to grow. Um, and, you know, I think the sky's the limit, so. I, you, you graduated, correct? Yes, sir. Congrats. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what made you want to come back for a sixth year? Um, I mean, I think for me, it's hanging around with these young guys. You know, I know I like to feel young, but I'm a little starting to get a little bit old. So You're hanging out with these guys, running around, uh, teaching them helps me learn things. Um, Plus, you know, at least personally for me, I had a lot of plays last year that I feel like I left on the field. Um, some missed tackles, um, you know, obviously a couple drop picks. So I think for those, buttoning those up um, has been huge for me. Um, along with, you know, trying to help the youngins teach them is only helping me learn the defense and master it as, as best I can.
Thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you, sir.